Welcome to Jumper Man Tech. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take pressure readings of a condensing unit that has no service ports. Not only is this unit filthy, but there's no service ports, so there's no way to take a pressure reading. So, what I use is these things called bullet piercing valves. Sometimes you encounter these tiny units, and a lot of them are not going to have any pressure readings. So, that's when you come in and install your own. So, you're going to clamp these around the pipe, pierce down, and when you pull the piercing out of the piping, you'll be able to get a pressure reading. So I'm going to show you guys how this works and uh, let's get this thing started. First things first, we're going to want to trace out our piping, see who's who, so we can connect this in the right place. So here's our compressor. We have three outputs. One here, one here, and another one here. This one comes out and it's just capped off. This is our processing tube. So forget about that. Coming out of the compressor is our discharge line. You can see it comes into the condenser. So coming out of the condenser is our liquid line. So come out of the liquid line and then it comes into this capillary tube. You know, it's our expansion valve and it comes into our evaporator which is inside the box. So this is our discharge, this is our liquid, and this has to be our suction. So for the low side, we're going to take our reading on the suction line. And for the high side, we're going to take a reading on the liquid line. This right here is our piercing valve. This is where we're going to get our reading. In the middle here is where it's going to go around the pipe. Depending on the pipe size, you're going to use these fillers, right, to go around the pipe and in between this hole right here. Once you take off these three screws on the outer edges, this splits off in two. So you can wrap it around your pipe and find the right fittings, right sizing. Once that's there, you're going to take this Allen key and you're going to tighten it clockwise and you're going to pierce down into the piping, okay? Once you go counterclockwise, pull out this Allen key, it's going to pull up that needle and it's going to release pressure from the piping and then you can read it from your pressure gauge. So let's get this thing taken apart, set up, figure out where we're going to clamp this and uh, let's see, let's see what happens. So you see this opens up two pieces, right? So the idea here is to get this around the pipe, clamp down on it, if it's not a snug fit, then you're going to want to add one of these, see, and drop it in, and then put it on the piping. So figure out who's who, figure out a nice position, clamp that on, put in your three screws, lock it down, and then we can pierce pipe with this one right here clockwise pierces counterclockwise releases pressure and right here is where you're gonna get your reading so I'm gonna get that uh, mounted let's get some pressure readings here to install this because once I get this on I could get it here I'm gonna have the holes here and this fan is gonna be spinning that's just not gonna be good and if I put this on this way it's not gonna be slide back in this is a super perfect fit. So as far as the high side, I'm just going to get a reading off the discharge line. Should be alright. So I'm going to go with that. And then I think I can get one on here. If not, this is our suction line right here. So we'll do what, what, what we can. Right with the bottom piece, put this under the pipe. See it's not snug. So we're going to add this little piece. Now we're going to put that around the pipe. You guys can see that it's now perfectly around the pipe. It's fine. Better angle. This 
this goes like this. Spin it around to avoid the hose hitting the fan. So once you got that snug, right? You're gonna drop in your screws. There is how you install a piercing valve. Suction. Slide that in. You can see it's right up against the wall, so there's not much space. So if you follow the suction line. This is it right here. I might just put it right here. So here's our suction line. size let's get those screws in and snug there's no seam visible everything is nice and snug all right so here's our high side here's our low side now we can hook up our gauges I like to release the middle hose open up my manifold make sure there's no refrigerant a different system in there. Close that up. Yeah, I got two red hoses, so let's see. Low side is right here. Alright. Next is our high side, which is right here. Snug those. Closed. We have a zero pressure reading. Okay. Next, what we're gonna want to do is take our Allen key and let's see if I get, get a clear shot for you guys. So we're gonna take our Allen key and we're going to um, clockwise spin this. So what we're doing now is by spinning this clockwise is that we are now piercing the pipe. Go till it gets super tight. And next, we're gonna go counterclockwise. All right, so let's see, that's the high side. Let's watch our high side gauge. I'm gonna go counterclockwise right now. Right there. 55 pounds standing pressure and we have pressure. Next we're gonna do the same for the low side. Clockwise. Alright. No pressure. And we're gonna go counterclockwise. There we go. Got pressure. These things tend to leak, so you want to put your hose on it, 
This is some leak check. I can hear something leaking. There we go. Lose my hose itself. Well, once again, you want to double check these. These things tend to leak. Might just need to tighten down on the screws. All right, that all looks good. And there you go. We got pressure. And that is how you get a pressure reading on a system with no service ports. If anybody found this video helpful or interesting, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.